In this video, we're going to learn how to access sub-object modes of an object. So let's go ahead and create a new box. And I'm going to go to the Create panel of the Command panel, go to Geometry, Standard Primitives, and then Box. I'm going to use the cube creation process and just left click and drag a cube out. And then what I want to do is I want to start editing this object. Now to edit an object, we can go to the Modify panel. And you'll see here that this particular object is a box. And it has just a few parameters that we can adjust. We have the length, width, and height. And we can knock this down to 50 on each one. We can type those values in. We can also adjust the length, width, and height segments. Now as I adjust this, you'll notice that nothing's happening. Go ahead and hit F4 to turn on the edge faces, and you'll see exactly what's happening here. So as I start to dial that up and down, we're adding more segments to our geometry. So I'm going to go ahead and add three to each one. Now what happens if I want to start extruding polygons and start changing the shape of this object? There's no way for me to access that right here. I only have a few parameters. One way to do that is to convert this object to an editable poly geometry object. So to do this, I'm going to right click, convert to editable poly. So here you'll notice that it has now changed from box to editable poly. And now I have lots of parameters that I can start to go through with this object. So let's talk about the sub-object modes. The sub-object modes that we have of an object in 3ds Max are vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element. The ones that you're going to be using the most often are going to be vertex, edge, and polygon. Border and element will have their own uses, but they won't be as prevalent, I should say. So let's talk about editing the vertices. And what is a vertex? So let's go to vertex mode, and you'll notice these little blue dots that show up at each point where two edges meet. That is a vertex. We can move that individual vertex to change the shape of our geometry. So I can push this in and start to make that a concave shape there. I can also, I'm also hitting Control Z to undo that, so hit Control Z a couple of times. I can also select multiple vertices at the same time using Control and left clicking on those. Or you could use left click and drag around that to do a marquee selection. Now anytime that you do that with a sub-object mode, be very careful because you've probably selected something in the background. We can change that by turning on this ignore back facing. So now if I just select these four, it'll only be those four that are selected. Now we can move these in any direction and we can change the shape that way. So now that we know what a vertex is, let's talk about edges. Now edges are probably going to be a little bit more self-explanatory. An edge is where two vertices connect. So we had one vertex here and we had one here and thus they created an edge. So if we select this edge, we can move it about and we can modify the shape of this object here. Perfect. Now we have border. Border is going to be a little bit less um, obvious on this. If I select around this entire thing, you'll notice that there's not a single border being selected. And you'll notice here it says zero edges selected. Now a border is a set of edges that are on an open polygon. So before we can talk about borders, let's talk about polygons. Let's go to this polygon here, polygon mode, and I can select a face of each uh, of the object itself. And it's made up of multiple polygons. Now a polygon or a face is typically made up of three vertices, at least three vertices. So that's what we would consider a triangle. In this case, this polygon is a quad because it's made up of four vertices. So we can select multiple polygons on this and notice how it shades it red. I can hold down control, I can select these three, and then I'm going to hit delete. Notice how it deletes those faces and I can now see inside of that geometry. Now with those polygons, let's go back to border mode because now I'm able to select those edges that are around an open polygon. That is a border. This particular border can be extruded. Let me hold down shift and just drag that out. And you can see I can create a new set of polygons with that border. That's how that 
particular uh, sub-object mode can be helpful. Now we have one more sub-object mode and that is element mode. Element mode is going to select all of the polygons in an object. So now that we know all about these particular sub-object modes and how they can be useful and what an object is actually made up of, we can now start the process of modeling. But there's one more thing that I want to talk about before we move outside of the basics. And that's going to be about grouping and parenting objects because we're not going to be dealing with just one single object in the scene. We're going to have multiples. And grouping and parenting is going to be extremely helpful whenever we create our CG productions.